Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Well Day Brewing Kerpfels Bow Keller Beer. Kerpfels Brow Keller Beer. This is a tongue twister. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> So this is a Keller beer, 5%, um, traditionally brewed in the heart of Germany. It's certified slow brewing excellence. Mm. Slow brewing. What the heck is slow brewing? It's some certification that um, an independent company in Germany has created. So the slow brewing certification is basically like this third party independent review board type thing where they uh, certify um, the manner in which certain beers are brewed. I've never heard of this thing, but apparently they're really, they're proud of it. I gotta say this uh, artwork is kind of cool. Very minimalist, which leads me to believe this beer could go one of two ways. It could be really bad or it could be quite good. Yeah, it has a date of 1752 on it. Um, that could, that no longer, I feel like. Makes any difference yeah. to, to the quality of a beer? Yeah, yeah. No. Visually, this looks uh, a bit like apple juice, really. Yeah, like a hazy. Now a Keller beer is unfiltered. Yes. So a Keller beer is essentially derived from the term cellar beer, which they used to brew beer in cellars and cellar mm -hmm. them in, in the basements of, of, they're colder, it's colder down there, so it made sense. Um, typically you'll see a Keller beer served in beer gardens um, from like a, a barrel, just straight from the barrel, because they don't really secondary it at all or anything like that. Oh. So they just pop it open and pour it out and then there you go. They're related to Zwickel beers, which mm. are, you know, a different, sort of kind of a different thing, um, but, they're less mature than a Keller beer is. Probably so I'm expecting this to have much more flavor than the first two beers we had. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm gonna say what about this. is that smell? Come on, no way. Now we gotta try it. Okay, let's dive in, come on. Cheers, we're going for it. Okay, well. Yeah. Actually not, not as bad as it, as it smelled. Okay, so on the nose, it smells like green apples straight away. You really get that sort of like- in, Like hay. Like, yeah, like like hay and green apples, mm -hmm. and that's about it. It definitely leaves you feeling a little dry in the mouth, and like that that sort of like apple-y flavor hits you right after that, mm -hmm. and leaves this sort of bitter apple aftertaste almost. Not, it's not acetaldehyde. But yeah. It's not an off flavor. It's meant to be there, but it's a byproduct of all the yeast and the you know, hops and all that stuff that goes into brewing a beer. It's just part of that. It's expected in lagers and, and beers like this, but here it's a bit higher of a degree than I would have imagined it would have been. It's, yeah, it's just hanging out in the back of my throat a little too much. Yeah, a like, little too much. And as this warms, it's gonna get worse. Ugh. That's always what happens. I don't like that taste in lagers because it just, I don't know, for some reason it just associated with that that green apple sourness and I just really don't like it. Uh, but in this one it works okay. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Yeah, this isn't bad. Yeah, because of that whole less mature thing than a secondary clarified beer would be, there's a lot more vitamins and yeast that's in suspension and that's why we're seeing that cloudy aspect here. Not very carbonated. I mean, there's no there's no head head right now. That went real fast. Yeah, it was there just as we poured it, but then disappeared almost instantly. This one's like not horrible. If you crush this one, I don't think it's bad. If you yeah. just like blah, 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 take it to the face, I mean, it's five percent. You could do it. Um, wouldn't be that bad. But uh, but yeah, as a sipping beer in a beer garden, yeah, I think I might choose a different one probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's okay. I wonder how the slow brewing process affected this beer particularly. Like if we had a different one that wasn't slow brewed or another one of their offerings, maybe it would be it would be different. I, I don't know. I mean, can you really taste the difference? I don't know. Have you guys ever had a slow poured, a slow, what does it say? Slow brewed beer? Slow brewed beer. I mean, these are gonna be slow brewed regardless, 
because they're loggers, right? Yeah. So wouldn't that make sense? All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.